What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Heroes. My name is Matt. I'm Bo. Ruben. This week we are getting the final, the super shelters around the campfire done. Watching a bit of TA Outdoors recently and we just love that look of a camp when it's got that perimeter wall and we need it for winter too to keep ourselves warm. So we're going to crack into it and get her done. Stick with us. So what we've done guys is we put horizontal across these two trees because we want to follow the contour of the ground. We want to have the top of the this beam right here in the middle and then the lean-to is going to fall away like this so it's nice and high for you to like uh, walk under and stuff like that and also because there's going to be a lot of weight on it we don't we want the main high beam to be nice and high so when the wind blows or when there's snow load on it um, most of the um, lean to backing is going to be below the height of the main support bar so it's not likely to tip over if there's weight on the top. So guys, we've got our basic shape pretty well done. Um, we've got the support going across there. We just decided in the end to go right up into the corner to maximize our space. We've got this support beam resting up here, parallel. And then we're making the tripod on the ground. We've measured it out, dug the holes for the bases so it's level. We're gonna cinch our two logs together. We've got marks here and here, so we know exactly where the knot needs to be. And then we're gonna tie it up, lift it up, so it wedges up underneath this, and then this log here can come out afterwards and it should be sitting nice and level. After we've done that, then we can add some more supports to deal with the counterweight coming this way. But yeah, that's what we're going to so far. So we cut two flat faces out onto the two logs. So we've got the flat faces facing each other inside the bipod there, just to give it a bit more like bite together so it's not round on round. So on the old classic Canadian jam knot. Just to start yet it. again. Just to start it, yeah. It doesn't want to slide all the way down though. What are you gonna do to actually cinch it off? Are you just gonna- I'm just gonna wrap it a few times and then yeah. go around just to mm -hmm. tighten up that box. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, we have leveled off our horizontal and we're gonna work on just this one side first and get it solid before we start doing the other side so that we've got a nice structure to build off and we can kind of see exactly what it is that we need to do on the other side so for now we're gonna tie off this left hand side cinch another support into this right hand side and then we're gonna start looking at what our angles angle. look like coming up and over the top of this and then that will give us a nice idea for this other side yeah so going forward can you go and stand underneath it because it doesn't look that big on camera it's actually quite an epic structure it's pretty big it's pretty big and heavy all right let's do it So Ruben's digging a trench along here um, to give us a nice even um, le like level for sinking these um, the backing of the wall into, um, and then he's chucking all the dirt over here so that we can level off the ground so that the ground is more level because it's slightly raised. You can see that it's slightly raised, and then it dips away here. I'll level all of that. So we're going to try and level the soil out here, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty big, 
it's pretty big, it's pretty high. But apparently we're incapable of doing anything small, so it's all good. So guys, the reason that we put these um, supports in here, there's another one on this side, and there's two jammed in on the other side of the uh, bipod on the far end. Is because this main support log is going to be taking a ton of weight, probably somewhere around 2,000 pounds. So it's really important that we have some structural support counterweighting, like uh, opposing force for when all these logs are laid on here. Because the last thing we want is for the whole thing to collapse and kill someone. So we may in future add more of these, but I think this one is good and we got three in total across the length and we're trying to collect deadfall for the back so it's a bit lighter. So we're getting there. Slowly, slowly. Quite a lot of work, obviously. But we're getting stuck in. We're just going on a full-blown wood collection mission. Uh, trying to take mostly dead standing, because it's lighter, like I said. And uh, there's no need for green wood for this, because it's not load-bearing, technically. So, yeah. kind of like impressive um, we, we, we never really planned to make things this big and then we got started and this is how it's turned out it'll just last longer it'll be more solid we can bring bigger groups of people out and have more beds under here and yeah I think all in all it's just epic really we're loving it really going good yeah we've been going hard for about <laughs> four hours right just non-stop yeah yeah, it's good though. It's a good workout. Yeah, for sure. It's just so tall. It's almost as tall as the treehouse is. It's actually taller than the base of the treehouse. If you follow that line around, it's like, <laughs> it's awesome. So these are the supports I was talking about. We've got one under here um, on the bipod and one under here. So that just means that the, uh, the, the rope on the bipod isn't taking the weight. The weight is actually being distributed down through those supports because I don't want to rely on that rope holding up this much weight. And then you can see, I've got the one in the middle there and then one on the end as well. So we've been working hard, just collected a ton of dead standing, Whew. clearing out this area on the trail towards the, uh, uh, the river. What a day, we have earned our beers on the river today, I tell you. 
That's probably the biggest lean-to I've ever seen, ever, anywhere, on YouTube or wherever. Bring her in, bud. Boom. That is awesome. So we've also been uh, debriding, like just putting all the offcuts, stacking them up, stacking up all the extra stuff just to fill any gaps and stuff. Um, oh my God, it looks amazing. Ruben can't resist climbing something, huh? Nice. I think maybe it would be nice at some point to put a support here, like angled inwards like that. Ju just so that it's not gonna tip all this way, yeah. you know? Oh, man, this is cool. Damn cool. Oh boy. What a light. Yeah, that is a hard day's work. So I just wanted to do a quick mention to something super awesome that I found the other day. I was online and I found this Kickstarter campaign for a Chameleon Backpack. It's an um, outdoor backpack company that have invented this insane backpack. It's like a three-part comp compartmentalized backpack. It's called the Chameleon. And it has the ability to turn into a chair, not in a horrible gimmicky way, but in a really functional way. You've got to check out their um, video on it. It's amazing. Essentially, you can turn the, chair, the backpack into a chair. Um, it has the same folding legs that my Helinox Chair 1 has, um, but it's like in the bottom part of the backpack. And then you can actually turn the backpack into the chair without having to take all of the stuff out of the backpack. And all your stuff is actually folded around the side of the chair. It just looks so insanely cool. And they're running a Kickstarter campaign to try and fund it. And I thought some of you guys that are really interested in um, supporting innovation in bushcraft and outdoors and stuff like that might find it really interesting to take a look at. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the Kickstarter campaign in case any of you guys want to check it out. Awesome. We could fish down where we were. What are we doing, bro? We're going, we're going to have some dinner on a little beach and a swim and we're gonna maybe do some fishing. Uh, we've worked real hard, so we are gonna relax now. Yeah, we're gonna have dinner on the beach, I think. We've got this fire. ridiculous amount of stuff packed. We're gonna do a couple of trips on the canoe over to the beach where we live streamed on. Um, and I took those pictures for Instagram and just chill out. So I'm super excited. It has been a crazy day's work, so it's gonna be nice to relax for the rest of the day. It's only like 4.30 or 5, I think, right now, so we've got a nice amount of time uh, to chill. Back again for some more chilling on the beach. Bo's never been there though, have you, mate? You going for a pee? Yeah. Nice. Off they go. Who's this rudderless bushcrafter zipping along? Oh, that's Reuben. What is he gonna do now? He has a very interesting way of navigating this water. Where is he going? Nice. Smooth. Well, this looks like a scene from Castaway. <laughs> What's going on? I have to just make some shape and it's so hot. Yeah, nice. That looks pretty cool. Well, it's pretty rudimentary, but... That's all right, my dear Watson. Looks like it's working good. Spread. Can you spread that? I can spread whatever you want. So we built a little fire pit, or Bo did, and Ruben found some uh, charcoal. Literally just ch a block of charcoal that he smashed up. So that's gonna be awesome. Get a little fire going and make an awesome little bed of coals. Oh look, and he found some birch bark washed up as well. 
Lucky I brought my ferro rod. So smash her up. That's so cool. That is some serious charcoal. Look how shiny it is, it's mental. Cool. So I'm just collecting up a bit of firewood to get a fire going. Oh, we got some nice dead driftwood. Awesome. Yeah, resin, it's just solid. Look at the resin in that beast. Full of it, it's been dead for so long. This should burn like really good. I'm gonna batten a piece of this. Oh, it just stinks. It doesn't actually look like fatwood inside. So I'm gonna try and use these to start the fire, guys. going in the video. Yeah, we did a couple of trips. So there we go, we got it going with some uh, stuff we found on the beach. Fatwood wasn't actually fatwood, but we got it going. And that's awesome. Looking forward to cooking some food down here. Down here. Super hot. <laughs> so Ruben, the genius, thought bringing the grill down was a good idea. I think it's a good shout, man. Yeah. We took it on the canoe. So now we can uh, get a nice bed of charcoal on the go and uh, cook up our dinner. What's that, Bo? Uh? Is that a steak on a cheesy bread? Uh, it's a steak on a cheesy bun. Steak on a cheesy bun on the river. With some rice. Yeah. Spanish style. Spanish style. Oh man, this is so lush. You guys, you guys, seriously. Look at Ruben banging on some steaks. Oh boy. Oh boy. He can do it better. How do you how do you say it, Ruben? Oh boy. There you go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What you doing, Rube? Looking for flint. Flint? Oh nice. Well hopefully we'll find some, eh? <laughs> Looking for flint, my predators. <laughs> Looking for flint for the bushcraft fire. Whose nipple is this? Whose nipple is that? So it was an awesome afternoon on the beach. Had some great food, chilled out after our really intense day of work today. That is a really nice thing about being down here. We woke up early, got a whole lot of work done and then spending the rest of the day just chilling, you know? That's what it's all about. Wood rack worked out good, eh? Mosquito netting. Morning, Bo. Morning, man. How's it going? <sighs> you sleep right? 
Yeah, man. I did. That is an interesting view, <laughs> isn't it? The woods have become a palisade. The palisade from the treehouse. Oh, that is cool. I wonder if it's any drier under there. It rained last night pretty heavy for a bit. Not, not bad. All right, well, thanks guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We've had a hell of a day. It's been wicked. It's an absolute monster. It's a monster. True uh, bushcraft hero style, huh? We, we didn't plan on it being this big. It just went that way and uh, yeah, we love it. And we're gonna just uh, build one over here in another video, but for today, that is that. It's insane how much work it is to put something up like this. You, yeah. you need to put in the effort. We started at like nine o'clock this morning and it's probably around 3.30 right now and we haven't stopped for lunch or breakfast or anything. We've had some breaks and snacks, but it's pretty much been hard going the whole day. Uh, but it's been a while since we've done a really full on hardcore yeah. day of, of doing it. We managed to build most of it out of dead standing as well, which was great. We didn't have to fell any live trees really. We did fell a couple, but mainly for the support beams that really needed to be solid, because uh, that is quite a lot of weight up there. Um, we're probably going to add some more reinforcements over the coming episodes. Uh, make sure it stays super safe. Yeah. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, we love to hear your comments. So yes. thanks, guys. Yes. We'll see you next time. See you time. next time. Thumbs up.